Hi folks, this is Will from the American Association of Young Numismatists. This is episode 5, and uh, today we're going to talk about how the uh, grading companies, um, in this case NGC, but you know PCGS2 uh, also makes this type of mistake, aren't always perfect. Um, now this is a uh, year 4 French 5 francs, um, NGC graded MS64. Now this is a really, really hard coin to find in this grade. Um, especially difficult uh, for this for this short-lived uh, series, the uh, Hercules Design 5 francs from the French Directory era. Um, this is when they were using a, their uh, Revolution era dating system. Uh, this was Years of the Republic, which started counting in 1793. This piece is Year 4 and is from uh, 1796 to 1797 period. Um, now this piece NGC has it listed as a mint state, but actually uh, it's a proof, or uh, a, spe a specimen or a proof, one or the other. Um, there actually is no recorded proof mintage for this, uh, for this, um, this, this piece, or this, the, the year four year. There's no recorded proof mintage, so a lot of, a lot of people would be reluctant to say it's a proof, but it's, it's obviously a special piece, and I'll, I say that for a number of reasons. Um, you know, first of all, it has proof-like fields, which isn't aren't showing too well in this video. Um, it's v exceptionally sharply struck, and the planchet is exceptionally perfect for this series. But the clincher is that the uh, the coin has been struck in a collar. Now, a collar is um, a little uh, metal ring that surrounds the die when the coin is struck, and it keeps it from expanding, and uh, it leaves a kind of telltale type of rim. Um, and you can sort of see it here in the video, but um, you know, uh, coins that are struck in a collar have a much different type of rim than coins that are struck uh, with without a collar. And this coin, just judging by the rim, was definitely struck in a collar. Uh, and um, French coins were not struck in, or French silver coins were not struck in collars until 1807. This piece was struck 1796 to 1797. Uh, in the 1790s, the French only struck their proofs and their specimen coins in collars. That's why I know this one's special, uh, yet NGC has just designated it as a normal mid-state piece. So that's an example of um, uh, NGC making a mistake in this case. It's also a type of mistake that PCGS makes sometimes. And the value difference between a proof or between a mid-state and a specimen coin can be tremendous. Uh, I paid $4,600 for this coin as a mid-state. And uh, being a specimen, it's probably worth seven or eight thousand. Very, very, very hard coin to find in this grade.